One of the struggles in particular that black women in American society have is that everyone has told us who we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to be it. And if you happen to be an aberration of one of these generally accepted themes, people don't know what to do with you. Black women possess class, elegance, we are sophisticated, we have poise, we're sassy. All the things that I think I possess. We are fierce manifestors and the designers of our lives. If you are looking for a definition of a black woman, I'm here to tell you that there is not one. We encompass and define everything that you could ever imagine. We're exciting, we're soft and supple, we're coy, we're competitors, we're conquerors, we're skydivers and lacrosse players. Uh, we bake, we cook, we're mothers and sisters, and we just encompass everything that a woman could and should be. The image of black women today has to be redefined because the current image is completely false. Black women are smart, savvy, intelligent, demure, thoughtful. None of those words are what come to mind immediately based on the stereotype today, but those are all terms that define black women in America and around the globe, and those are the words that should be used when describing beautiful black women. I believe that in this day and age, when there's so many unflattering stereotypes of black women, I think that I am on board with this book because this book shows that there are black women that are accomplished, that are confident, that are intelligent, that are classy, that are soft, that are feminine. And I believe that although the stereotype of the unflattering image of black women is what's prevalent in the media, our voice needs to be heard as well and we need to be represented fairly. And there is a large sect of us that are accomplished and that are prepared to show the positive light that should be shown on black women, as opposed to the negative stereotypes that we see. Black Women Redefined, uh, to me it speaks of strength, it speaks of creativity, it speaks of perseverance. Black women have always had to rail against the machine in a lot of ways, and I think that the importance of redefining who we are for ourselves is that it creates a sense of empowerment and it creates a sense of purpose that only you can, you know, only we can give ourselves as individuals. I think that black women are largely misunderstood because of the media. Um, there's a tendency within the media to portray black women in a way where only the negative gets the shine. And I think that coming back into a space where we are saying, you know what, it doesn't matter what the media says. We believe in who we are as we are and putting that out is, is important. The black woman is an integral part of a universal society. The black woman holds the weight of the world on her shoulders. I believe the redefinition of womanhood is being sure and careful that we're not redefining ourselves outside of ourselves. And so it's important for me to inform, especially young women, to understand that you know, dividing yourselves into these dichotomies and dualities of life, you're a career woman, you're a wife, you're a mother, these are things that are not boxing you in, but really coming together and uniting this one woman into one body, one self, because women are of water and of spirit, and your crown has already been bought and paid for, and all you have to do is wear it. Everything I wrote, I lived the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I would like to be able to talk to someone that's younger than me. If I could go back to myself 20 years ago and talk to myself and say what matters, I'd say it's love. At the end of the day, this journey is all about love. You're put upon, you allow everybody to put upon you and to ask things of you and take pieces of you. And you do it so willingly because as a black woman, you believe that's what you're supposed to do. That's what we're taught to do. We're not allowed to even be sick. We're not allowed to have that day where we can just lay in the bed and cover up our heads. We're not allowed to be women. I mean, it's, it's Sojourner's rant from 150 years ago when she says, ain't I a woman? It, it is the black woman's battle cry. When will you see me in all of my splendor and all of my glory and all of my femininity, of all of my tenderness? Those are not the things you see about us. And I wanted these young women. I have two nieces, they're 13 and eight. And one day they're gonna grow up and be black women. And I want them to not have to have this conversation 20 years down the road. I want them to know that they're valuable, that they're not just a black woman, they're a woman. And being a woman means something. It's, it's something fabulous to be a woman. And I don't think that black women are seen in that way.